Hi there. The following video is going to show us how to simplify thirds. Now in the same way, for example, when in, in a topic of fractions, you get a fraction something like 4 over 8. You would usually all simplify that fraction by dividing the top and bottom by the highest common factor of 4 and 8, which is 4, and you get the answer half. That's standard practice when simplifying fractions. Now, in a similar way, thirds can be written in a more complicated way, and where possible, you should go about by trying to simplify them. Two things you need to uh, be able to know in order to do this. The first is your square numbers. 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4, 3 times 3 is 9, 4 times 4 is 16, 5 times 5 is 25, etc., all the way up to 15 times 15, which is 225. If you know your squares up to the 15th square, you would be able to simplify any third you encounter in GCSE. Okay, that's the first thing you should be able to learn. Secondly, you should know that when you take the square root of two numbers multiplied together, that's the same thing as the square root of the first number multiplied by the square root of the second. For example, the square root of 3 times 5 is the same thing as the square root of 3 multiplied by the square root of 5. That fact is going to be key to us simplifying some thirds. So, let's start by doing this. Imagine I'm asked to simplify a third root, the square root of 50. The first thing I do is I look down my square numbers which are less than 50. Starting off with 49. Decide which is the biggest number that divides into 50. 49 doesn't. 36 doesn't. 25 does. 25 goes into 50 twice. So I can write the square root of 50 as the square root of 25 times 2. Using this rule over here, that therefore is obviously the square root of 25 times the square root of 2. But hold on, what is the square root of 25? Well, it's 5. And 5 times root 2, a mathematician writes as 5 root 2. And that is the simplified version of root 50. Now, imagine then someone asked you, what's 3 times root 50? Well, if you know 1 lot of root 50 is 5 root 2, 3 times root 50 must be 3 times 5 root 2, which is simply 15 root 2. Easy as that. Okay, let's look at example 3, root 72. Look at all your squares below 72. 64 doesn't go into 72. 49 doesn't. 36 does. Okay, 36 does. You can write the square root of 72 as the square root of 36 times 2, which is, by this rule up here, the square root of 36 times the square root of 2. What is the square root of 36? Well, it's a whole number. It's 6. And how does a mathematician write 6 times root 2? Well, they would write it as 6 root 2. Let's try to do the, ne the next one a bit quicker. 4 root 72. Well, if one lot of root 72 is 6 root 2, 4 times that must be 4 times 6 root 2, which is 24 root 2. OK, I'm going to actually jump to this one here. Imagine this one came up in, in an exam uh, and you hadn't previously worked out what the square root of 300 is. Well, what you would do is on a bit of side paper or a little bit of working, you would try and simplify the square root of 300. What numbers, what square numbers go into 300? 225, no. 196, no. Etc. Until you get to 100, that does. So the square root of 300, well, that's actually the square root of 100 times 3, which is the square root of 100 times the square root of 3, which is 10 root 3. But you wanted 7 lots of this. So you wanted 7 lots of this, and 7 times 10 root 3 must be 70 root 3. I will now leave these six examples for you to have a, an attempt at yourself look, using the method we have done in the first six examples. Thank you.